Frank Cooper Craighead Jr. and John Johnson Craighead were born in Washington, D.C. on August 14, 1916. Their parents were Dr. Frank C. Craighead Sr. and Carolyn Johnson Craighead. Along with their younger sister, Jean, who is today a well-known children's author, the boys explore the Potomac River country in Maryland. As youths, they developed a keen fascination with falconry, helping to pioneer the sport in the United States and honing what would become their lifelong interest in wildlife conservation. In the summer of 1934, just after high school, Frank and John drove west in a 1928 Chevrolet with several of their friends, photographing and capturing hawks and falcons. They drove on dirt roads all the way, pulling over a night to camp. During this trip, they first saw Jackson Hole, and they visited with world-renowned naturalists Olas and Marty Murray. The spectacular beauty of Wyoming remained with them through subsequent travels, and they promised themselves they would return someday to live near the Tetons. Parts of this trip were described in their first magazine article, Adventures with Birds of Prey, penned for National Geographic magazine in 1937. Frank and John graduated with degrees in science in 1939 from Pennsylvania State University where they both excelled on the wrestling team. They both went on to the University of Michigan for MS degrees in ecology and wildlife management in 1940. That same year, an Indian prince named K.S. Bapa Dharmaku Marsinji read their falconry article in the National Geographic magazine and invited them to visit him in India. The National Geographic Society paid Frank's and John's expenses and supplied them with cameras and film. They soon sailed to India on a passenger liner for a nine-month stay with Bapa. They wrote another National Geographic article and made a film about the visit, both titled Life with an Indian Prince. These were the last days of the rules of Maharajas in India and the last days of Indian falconry on a grand scale. With the outbreak of World War II, the brothers organized and conducted an outdoor living course for training military pre-inductees. Although they intended to sign on with the Army's 10th Mountain Division, Frank and John were actually commissioned as lieutenants in the U.S. Naval Reserve Aviation Training Program and stationed in Pensacola, Florida. The Navy had taken keen interest in the brothers' outdoor skills course at the university, and as naval officers, they were thus tasked with the unique assignment of pioneering survival techniques for military aviators and other personnel in the South Pacific. One outcome of this service was publication of their oft-reprinted Navy manual, How to Survive on Land and Sea. While on a short military leave, Frank took a train to Illinois and married Esther Stevens. After their wartime service, the brothers returned to Jackson Hole, where they bought 14 acres of land from John Moulton on Antelope Flats, near Moose. They also completed their studies at the University of Michigan. John Craighead married Margaret Smith. Frank and John went their separate ways in the early 1950s when John accepted a permanent position with the University of Montana. John spent most of his subsequent career at the University of Montana, serving for many years as the leader of the Cooperative Wildlife Research Unit there, Similarly, Frank served in several federal and academic positions and in 1955 formed the nonprofit Outdoor Recreation Institute. In 1959, Frank and John's careers merged again. At the request of Yellowstone National Park, they began a 12-year study of grizzly bears. During the years of the grizzly bear study, Frank and John found time to publish a Peterson Field Guide on Wildflowers write four articles for National Geographic magazine, make two highly popular National Geographic television specials, Grizzly and Wild Rivers, and produce four lecture films. One of their greatest contributions to the grizzly bear study and to the science of wildlife ecology was their leadership in developing and using radio transmitters. If there is one recurring theme in the lives of these remarkable individuals, it is the fact that these brothers repeatedly pioneered so many frontiers from falconry to wildlife cinematography and immobilization, radio and satellite telemetry, and large-scale satellite mapping of habitats. Perpetuating their legacy, many of the Craighead's students, co-researchers, and children went on to pioneer their own new frontiers in science with other wildlife species, including mountain lions, wolverines, arctic grizzlies, Alaskan brown bears, and peregrine falcons. In addition to grizzly bear research and, of course, their families, perhaps the other most notable passion of these modest, indefatigable, and industrious conservationists was their visionary dedication to the protection of North America's most vulnerable habitats and ecosystems. Indeed, 
The brothers did much to lay the groundwork for the National Wild and Scenic Rivers Act of 1968. Further exemplifying their big picture perspective, the Craighead's scientific writings about grizzly bear ecology contain the first reference to the Yellowstone ecosystem, a concept that is still defined by the needs of the grizzly bear. Although Frank and John retired in the mid-1980s, neither gave up their lifelong devotion to outdoor recreation, scientific research, and interpretation of the natural world. At age 89, John continues to remain as active as possible, fishing, writing, and organizing a life's worth of papers, files, photographs, and artifacts.